All right, fingers crossed. We have no lapel mic problems this time. I've tested it, it should be good. Anyway, let's go. Welcome back to another Jigs Reviews. Another beer again today. Um, obviously I sneak peeked it in the last video. I, I'm a big Guinness fan. I've always, I say I've always been a Guinness fan. I've probably been a Guinness fan since I was about 19, 20 before that. I just thought too thick, too stouty, whatever you want to put it. Just wasn't for me. Wasn't a big fan of the black stuff. But my mate DJ, who was a big Guinness drinker, I started drinking it when I was with him and ended up loving it. Obviously, you know, I'm a big coffee drinker as well. I love me some coffee. My day cannot start and work without a cup of coffee and continue without a coffee later on in the day as well. So when I saw there's a Guinness cold brew, I was like, holy mother of love, I need to try me some of this shizzle. And um, found it quite quickly, actually. I thought it was one of the things that I look around and I can't find it for weeks and months on end, but found it straight away, which is a good thing. It's obviously, it's out there in the stores, easy to get. It came in a pack of four. Uh, I've got a work colleague who's a big Guinness fan, so I gave him a can as well to try. He's also a big coffee fan, so I thought, you know, have a go. Let's see what you think about it. Um, I'll tell you what he thought about it. Well, I'll tell you what I think about it. So I've already had some of this. Um, the first two cans out of this four pack I had, I did in the fridge. Um, I normally like my Guinness cold. If, if it's on tap, I'd normally buy a Guinness extra cold. But I don't think this is the one to have cold. This is definitely more of a room temperature jobby. So um, I didn't put this one in the fridge. It's been left in the cupboard and hopefully I might get some more taste out of it. So in case you don't know already, Guinness cold brew coffee beer. So yeah, they've, uh, they've put a bit of cold brew in it. Um, it doesn't, there's nothing on here to say about what the caffeine amount is in here um, at all anywhere. So I couldn't tell you how much caffeine's in it, but I can tell you that it's 4% volume alcohol. It's a 440 mil can, like they normally are in Guinness. And that's what I'm going to say about that. Let's just crack this open. See, that's very unsuccessful opening. Mirror cans didn't do that, and that one's been sat in a cupboard and it just blew. Um, that's all right, I'm a good boy, I cleaned up after myself, so no one will ever know. But, um, well, apart from that, I've just posted a bloody video about it, but you know what I'm saying. So, anyway, here we are. Here is the ready to drink. Obviously, you had to let it settle, so I thought I'd do it first separately so that it gives it time to settle. Ready to drink, so right then. Cheers, let's, uh, let's take this on the nose, shall we? Now already, compared to when I last had some because out of the fridge, this has got a better nose straight away because it's, it's warmer. It's the same when you drink whiskey, really. You know, you get a lot more out of it when it's at room temperature or higher. The, the colder it is, you seem to get less out of it. So it's definitely a nice caramel toffee note on there. It's a slight undertone of the Guinness, but the prominent note is definitely like a creamy toffee or caramel note. I'm not getting any coffee though. No. Bit of chocolate in there as well. It's more of a, um, more of a dark or baking chocolate rather than a, uh, than a milk chocolate. A Bourneville, I say it's more of a Bourneville smell. Um, I don't know if we have Bourneville in America and stuff, but we do over here. One of my faves, especially when they did, they did a rum one and they've done an orange one as well, and they oh my god, so good! So good, there's two nice things there in the world. So, yeah, that's what I'm mostly getting on the nose of that. Um, like I said, no coffee as of yet, so uh, bottoms up and let's uh, give myself a nice moustache.
So it's not as thick as a normal Guinness. The obviously the added cold brew in there is definitely watered it down. So it's a it's definitely a lot more wishy washy. It almost tastes like they have watered down the Guinness, which if you're a Guinness fan, it's not going to be it's not going to be as pleasant for you in the sense that they've, they've washed down the Guinness really. The, the sweet notes I was getting in the mouth, you get a more on the finish. You get more of that, more of a toffee than caramel. Now you get more of a toffee note on the finish, but in the mouth, it's just the coffee comes out a bit more. It's it's like a Guinness it's like espresso Guinness fifty fifty sort of thing. Yeah, there's definitely more coffee on the palate than what there is in the nose. I couldn't get any at all in the nose, to be honest. The thing is, now I've tasted it, it's sort of taken away most of what I had on the nose, oddly. It's almost like it was in the head. Now the head's gone a bit smaller. It's sort of gone away. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, it's a bit meh. Um, if you're a big Guinness fan, it's taken away the the pure thickness of a good normal pint of Guinness. If you are like all the likes to try these sort of things, it's worth a try, but it's not overly coffee over. I mean, it's, I suppose that's fine, you know, it's in the middle, so that's not a bad thing, is it? You know, you want to drink Guinness and you like coffee, so you are getting that mix. Uh, it was definitely better on the nose than what it was on the palate, but then that's subsided now. I've had some, that might just be me, probably is me, I'm strange, but it's not, it's nothing to write home about by any means. And my work colleague, workmate, however you want to put it, said the same. He wasn't overly bothered by it, and I can see why. You literally have to wait to the finish. It's got a nice aftertaste, but it's not great as you're drinking it, really. And obviously you want it to be good when you're drinking it, don't you? Um, but yeah, I'm not really going to say much more, really. I shan't be buying any more, that's for sure. So yeah, there it was. There was the Guinness Cold Brew Coffee Beer. Nowhere near as good as the uh, Innocent Gun with the Lafroy. That was just next level. This is... Maybe because I've had that, that's what, maybe I should have had this first, but there you go, you win some, you lose some. So yeah, that's what I'm going to say about that. Um, little note, in case you do decide to become a patron, I've swapped some things around. I've tried to sort of combine both my channels together. So it's now Patreon forward slash Jigs Views and Reviews and Jigs Lounge. Um, I'll put it at the bottom there because um, I probably got it wrong. probably butchered that because it's new and... I can't remember. Um, head over to the website, www.jigsviewsandreviews.com for all the stuff, what's going down, you know what I'm saying? And that's about it, really. So thank you for watching, and um, I shall see you on the next video, hopefully with something a bit more tasty or a bit more groomy or whatever I'm doing. It's a job when you do some different things, really. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. <sighs> what a letdown. What a letdown. <laughs>